And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. Thank you for joining us for our second half hour tonight. And pray as a family, as a parent, you never have to go through this. A local Houston mother is desperate for one of their, her loved ones to return home safely. Clarissa Renee Alvarado has been reported missing. The 27-year-old was last seen with her boyfriend more than a month ago, back on March 3rd. Her family is worried the truth about her whereabouts are being hidden. I I spoke with her mother and a family friend today. And joining us tonight on The Factor on Uncensored, we have with us Christina Meza and Vicki Cruz. And Christina, your daughter, Clarissa Alvarado, who's 27, disappeared back on March 3rd. What were the circumstances surrounding her disappearance or what last happened before she disappeared on March 3rd? She left with her boyfriend and the boyfriend uh, who the name that we looked up is not even the name that he's under. So it's obviously an alias name. The truck that they that they left in was a stolen truck. I had to I had to peel off every leaf that I could to find all the stuff out because I didn't know. And as a parent, you know, you're supposed to like take care of your kids, but when they're like 27 years old, you kind of feel like you're confident with what they're going through. But with my daughter, I, I wasn't confident because my daughter, she's she doesn't have the mentality of a 27 years old. Mm -hmm. She's, you know, she's very naive. She's 5'11", she weighs only a hundred pounds. And I've I've done everything. I've gone from like the cell phone company. I've gone to HPD, and because she's 27 years old, I'm just pushed back. Like no care is given. And That's it's been what, more than a month. Out. Have you had any contact with her? Any calls? Any I've, emails? I've met. I've I've text messaged her. I've sent. I've left voicemails and then the last like um, social media outlet, outlet that she had was on Facebook on April 3rd. The the person that's that she's with, I know is like manipulating her mind because they're sending obviously like messages to my family and friends with the same copy and paste message. And I know that's my, not my daughter. And my question is, why haven't you texted me the same message? Mm -hmm. That's that's my question. And obviously, as a mother, and this is your firstborn, your oldest child, you're in fear for her safety, and you think she doesn't function as a 27 year old. Um, yes, how did she meet this guy? Through a job that she was working at off of Winkler called LSO Logistics. And I went and I tried to go and verify his his um, background, like his whereabouts or whatever, and that company's no longer there. Wow. It's just one um, dead end after another. After Vicky, another. how difficult is it for you watching your friend go, go through something like this with... Uh, yeah, I couldn't imagine, you know, um, but that's what we do, right, as advocates to stand there for our friends as a friend and as an advocate and um, knowing Christina, knowing how protective she is with her kids, you know, as a mom, um, you know, it's just one of these things that we just got to make sure because, you know, she's been asked, like, why didn't she do it sooner? Why didn't she look sooner? But it's because, like she said, you know, she kind of thought that her daughter was in the position to take care of herself and to, you know, maybe they just needed that little bit of space and everything like that. And and as time went by, it's like just it things are not it's not it's not who her daughter, you know, it, it it's her response. It's not her daughter's character to just leave a job. It's not her character. It's not for her cell phone. It's not her character to disrespect family members the way what she's not disrespecting, but the response that family members, she's mm -hmm. been like this with all her family members. So there's something not right here. And so when I see this, it breaks my heart because I know, you know, as a mom, it's like we want answers, you know, as a mom, as a mom, we want to protect our children. 
And, um, you know, and, and, and it, it breaks my heart. I know that um, it's it's been a challenging, not, not challenge, it's a challenge, but I know that Christine is strong and I know that it's okay to be weak. And I tell her, it's like, listen, I know it hurts. Um, there's nobody here to blame or anywhere or anything right now at this point. We just need to have answers and she needs help. Right. You know, she and, needs and, help. And Christina, you have reported it to police. Yes, uh, however, if you could say something to your daughter right now, what would it be? My princess, please just come. I just want to touch you. I want to feel you. I love you so much. I just, that's all I want. I don't care, like, good or bad that you're doing. Just, I just, I want to, I want to feel you. Cause I'm hurting right now. Just not, the not knowing is killing me inside. Well, we will put up her picture, Christine, and we, we wish you the best. And hopefully, if anyone sees her out there, contact the Houston Police Department, the Sheriff's Department, or any law enforcement agency in your community. Once again, her name is Clarissa Alvarado. She's 27 years old, and she's been missing since March 3rd. Clarissa and Vicki, thank you both for joining us here on The Factor tonight.